Good morning from Pleasant Valley. This is the long dark. We're here in a brand new episode. It is fairly early in the morning. I just prepared a few acorns while I was waiting for a storm to pass uh, and some light to show up. Our goal today was to explore this little area right here, this little town. I'm going to find out what's here. Um, we've got big plans to keep moving. But this is like one of those areas on the game that you don't want to just pass up. So as early as possible, that's what we're doing. What are we here in the gas station? We're not far from making our way to like our more permanent base in Mystery Lake. Uh, I would say, you know, in game days, less than a week before we land at Trapper's Cabin. And that's all, you know, weather dependent, of course. Wolf dependent. Stump remover. Now, this and the dusting sulfur, I'm not picking up too often, but, you know, there could be a need for that down the road. And this isn't like a crazy journey something lit up over here but the hiccups a little bit oh why don't we just use a light source was it anything huh here we go more matches. This, not important. Nothing in there. Was that it? No. Sewing kit. Heck yeah, two sewing kits in here. Our uh, storm lantern's about to go out, though. I don't love that. I'm still wearing the work gloves. They do take leather. Uh, eventually, we'll transition to rabbit mitts. And then we can tear these down, but they seem to be like what I need right now, more so than the fleece mittens, which I, I typically always use the fleece miss, mittens this early on. Uh, I didn't heat up any of the liquids because like we're just going to bounce from house to house all the way down this row. And I'm this last house that we stop in here is going to have a fireplace in it. Because I want to walk this and maybe get some cattails as we make our way back. And if you're just joining us uh, right now, we've got a temporary base on the the homestead. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm terrible at what the names of these places are. Um, but you just follow the road all the way down. We're in the the story house homestead. So we got our temporary base. We got so much stuff curing over there. I would love some lamp oil. It's been like probably one of the the big bummers is I haven't found any of that early. Usually you find it in the garage and coastal highway. It's like a good jerry can full of it. Okay. And I honestly I could have missed it. You because I've watched guys like Zach and Blades play and they walk by something and I see it and they completely miss it. And then I go to the comments and it's sometimes it's crazy. Sometimes people will call it out. And other times they missed it just like everybody else did um but i have seen that you know there's there's some things that can be missed and what seems obvious to some people obviously you know it's relative i remember there's a time where there's water in here you can get like a little drink
anyways just a a little glitch here in our uh capture card we're back at it hope nobody needs this anymore oh uh, we're finding so much coffee here which is really good i know i got a tip in season one about carrying so many uh, drinks and I didn't even think about that I usually don't have so many drinks but uh, we were crafting it you know taking advantage of fires during that particular playthrough and I didn't even realize it but I had like uh, over 10 well, this stuff look at that handy. so much coffee We found 110 uh, in the garage. No, it wasn't the garage. Where the heck was that? Ooh, I need to cook this. 500 calories. That's a huge rabbit. Another marine flare. I want to cook that rabbit before we start walking, by the way. Um... Anyways, back to what we were saying. In the little gas station convenience store. And a coffee. Two tins here. This will come in handy. Let's go. Found one pair. I'm just going to take this. You know, we can always drop water. Water is pretty easy to come by. Oh, it's definitely not easy, but, you know, it's one of those things that will be around whenever you need it. Really happy about those socks, by the way. Okay, we went there, came here. Monotonous. That's what I would describe the vehicles as. Ooh, I don't know why I clicked off of that. Look at that, we are armed with marine flares. Another hacksaw. Not gonna lie, this is the first time I've ever searched this supply bin. Look at that. And it's cured. Nice. Okay, this is... We had talked about doing a, like a little fire. This is a spot we're most likely going to do it. I think it's got a, like a little one. Yeah. A one top. I don't know why I keep doing that. Clicking on and then letting go before it's done searching. Another cooking pot. Going to be huge for our six burner. Another 
I'm not sure if it's smarter. I'm going to look at it. I know. I'm just thinking out loud here. Um, if I should cook all those coffees, I would assume it's probably heavier than just carrying the tins. But I really want to take advantage of the six burner stove and cook everything like really quick. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I mean, we're already encumbered. Look at it. Air number two. And we love to recycle, so these socks will turn into these socks. And we break them down and use it to repair. Those ones weren't in as good a shape, so we've got some repairs to do. I did not think I'd find two pair of wool socks here in this little town. Okay. Actually, we have a fire striker, which is almost dead, actually. Yeah, 28%. And I wonder if it uses, like, less of that condition, like, the better your fire starting skill is. So maybe I should save it. From here. That's condition. Here we go. Don't really want to do all the birch bark. And that's as much as we have as rose hip. A birch bark it is. Oh, that one was warming. Had a good range on it. <clears throat> pretty windy out so i'm not sure like how many torches we're actually going to be able to um we get as many torches as we want but how many torches we'll be able to burn like on our walk back Okay, it doesn't sound like it's crazy windy. We're going to get three torches out of this. Maybe more if I have a stick or two. Look at these. We're pulling out winners here. Except for that one. Come on, man. Whatever. Get out of here. <clears throat> Moving on. It is kind of windy. It is really cold. We're approaching midday, though. These have always been boarded up, by the way. These houses over here. And there's wolves. Ooh, we are getting hungry. Another one. That is so cool. We could load up on all different kinds of liquids. Just have hot liquids for every situation. Coffee and birch bark. Rose hip. Kind of a cool, like, little storage option, too. It'll look better on the shelves than 8,000 cups of coffee.
Hmm. After I grab these, I'm gonna make my way over there. This one must be used. I've never seen 27% be uh, a pole from a uh, fire. Don't want to get too encumbered. But I also want to grab all the good stuff. Okay. I have missed this for a long time. Come on. Is it because I'm encumbered? Is that a deer? It is. Okay, this one looks boarded up too. This actually isn't in the wind. Probably why I, you know, there's only so much, yeah. We're closed. There's only so much memory you can have, I guess, right? And for some reason I blocked that out. Probably because it's boarded up and doesn't mean anything. Forty seven is actually a really good torch. And now that my condition is full, you know, the 2% that we ended up losing from walking in the cold, you know, burned a birch bark tea on that. Looking back on that whole situation, I probably wouldn't have heated up all those birch barks. So we're going to take some cold damage. I'm going to save those birch barks for more important things. Hmm, I probably should have cooked that rabbit. Because I do have a scent on me. There's uh, also a... Like a birch forest. That is loaded with wildlife. Not the good kind. But where is that? Oh, look at that. Saplings. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've got some buildings back here. We're getting... Oh, that's not a building. That's a uprooted tree. We're getting into wolf territory here. But we will drop that rabbit as a decoy if we have to. Plus, we've got the torches. But I do want to make a run through this... Okay, those are deer. I do want to make a run through this birch bark forest. There's a bear that roams the birch bark, birch tree. Trying to be really quiet just to make sure there is something here. I can hear it. So far, so good. Cue the calming music. Okay. 
Okay, these actually just look like sticks. A bunch of sticks. Ooh. We got, we got three torches left. Lonely homestead. My fingers. Not uh, familiar with this place. This isn't a place that I know really well. Where are they flying over? Over there. We got a couple people here. Was that oh it's a bear i did tell you guys there's a bear that lives here i had goosebumps everywhere the sound of that bear was not cool uh never used a decoy on a bear i'm gonna try it You've got to want this birch bark. Bears are pretty slow. Um, I can outwalk this guy. Maybe he'll pick up that rabbit and move on. Maybe he'll ignore it. Wait. Oh no! So cold. I'm warming up a bit. Well, uh, I wasn't paying attention, and we lost our well-fed bonus. Just really, really excited about that. So. Not gonna eat anything right now, obviously. We're gonna have to start this all over right before bed. We've got the technical backpack, though. So oh, this might this might delay our trip just a little bit. I don't want to be like super slow. I don't hear the bear anymore. This isn't like a place where you come to see a bunch of things because <laughs> of the uh, birch bark trees, birch trees. Locked the view. Get some obstructions. Things just become a black and white wall. Anyways, we're gonna take some condition damage to make it back to the the temporary base. Really kicking myself right now on losing that well fed bonus. A sapling right on the top of the hill right here. It is, but I mean, I think we have right double digits, and those things you craft into survival bows. I've never used 10 survival bows on a playthrough. You know, maybe, maybe this is the one where we do, but. Let's keep a mental note. Random hill, Pleasant Valley, we can find another maple sapling. They can be found. You know, if we get into a tight spot, we've got to venture out into the world. 
I think we'll be able to find more. There's, I mean, we're going like pretty vanilla routes here. Things that, you know, they're not shortcutty. They're like major arteries in the, the pathways of the game. So, like, as far as the world we're exploring is relatively thin. Relatively small. Now that I'm thinking about this, our torch might not last us until we make it to the base. I say that I'm taking vanilla pathways, but I'm not feeling confident on our little trek right here. Because now we're going more this way, which means I think our homestead's up over here, actually. Or maybe. Yeah. We're going to make a left up here. Just want to check what I have for firewood, which is a piece of coal. And a bunch of sticks. What a weird episode. It happens. It happens on every run. Or I'll forget. I'll lose the well-fed bonus. You know, I just felt like we were doing all the right things. And out of curiosity. No. I was wondering if you could just like throw a ice fishing hole here. You can. Very cool. You've got to be in like a. An area that's a little wider open. Wider open. That's the correct way to say it. A little more wide open. Ooh, could he use the magnifying? Yeah. Let's use a magnifying glass when we get closer to home. You can harvest these old torches for sticks, which isn't a bad idea. But as I said, you know, you never know when you're going to be around here. You never know when you're going to run into a blizzard where you might get disoriented, where you're not 100% confident. And even on this playthrough, I found like a, a torch that was laying on the ground. Be like, I, I have been here. I am on the right path. Dang, we're losing condition like super fast. I'm just going to run and make self more encumbered oh the reason i'm letting this torch burn out is to spend less time outdoors even though we could warm up like super fast it's like a risk to like make it to the homestead um we'll throw that right but i've got marine flares and we'll use the marine flare like if we had to use it right here marine flares actually go by like really fast so probably not a good uh example but we would use like a flare if a wolf came and then we would use that flare to start a fire. Yeah. 
deer. Look at all his antlers. I think you gotta stay well fed for 48 hours to get the well fed bonus, which is an extra five kilos carrying capacity. And right before I wanted to head out to Mystery Lake, of course I'd make a boneheaded call and lose that. I mean, our character even said, I'm getting so hungry. And I was like, okay, I'll just keep an eye on it. That was the cue to just fill it up. By the way, I think that uh, rabbit decoy worked on that bear. Okay, so if I hadn't lost the well-fed bonus, I would probably be sleeping up there at the radio tower. And then bright and early, we'd be heading out to Mystery Lake. But you could see our condition. Just like let it deteriorate. Guess we can fix up a bunch of things. Oh, here's our green maple. Not that, is it? This one is that. Okay, that's looking good. I put some guts down here or no? I didn't bring guts. Of course I didn't. Guts attract wolves and we weren't ready to play with all those wolves. I have found lamp oil here before. Matches. Okay. All right, so I mean, five liters of water. That's really heavy. Let's just hang here. And we got three of these. Nice. We can make a bunch of stuff. But again, let's have a look at that. So this is 0 0.06 and 0 0.05. And this is double. So, and you can make five. I mean, yeah, we need to keep these in there 10. Out of these. All right. Repair. At harvest. Mm -hmm. That'll do it for the sewing kit. Man, rust suit, I'm gonna faint. I mean, maybe we should just make everything close to a hundred as possible. No. I mean, like, less than 75 is when I typically repair stuff. Or if it's, like, something brand new. Like, this was 78, I think. If it's something brand new, I typically repair it just to get... I don't know why. Get started on it, I guess. I'm just thinking out loud too, so I know that doesn't make sense. Just to get started on it. Okay. Did I read this? I did. And that's probably what we could do here. Got so much food. What was that 13? We're gonna get sick, we need to do it here. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, everything else is pretty good. Uh, I will drink a herbal tea tonight. You, you can only carry 30, and the technical will give us 35. We're at 37, and the well-fed was the 40. That's right. We've got a lot of stuff to carry, so maybe we'll do that. Is just kind of look at... Look at things that we might be able to drop, which this for sure. We can drop some sticks. I mean, we can repair our boots and our gloves and get a little bit off of this. This is lighter, I think, than preparing it. I mean, uh, yeah, it's got to be. And making it into a tea, same with that. I want to bring all these insulated flasks to our base, so I'm not willing to drop those. I have a kind of, I guess I could drop pain pills. But, I mean, for 0.1 kilo, come on. We got books. Yeah. I'm starving. Let's just, um... Ketchup chips. Bleh. Let's get it. Start our whole, um... Well-fed journey here. We dropped quite a bit of water. Plan on that. Time we got. We can read a little bit. And once that tiredness meter gets up, we won't be able to read anymore. But I would like to finish this book. Come on. Nope, I don't think we're going to get this hour. One time I made it a point not to eat anything just because I wanted to stock uh, Trapper's Cabin. You know, I'd seen everybody who had all their pops and canned foods, yes. everything sorted. Nice. Looks really cool. I don't want to fill this up. But I do want to drink that herbal tea. think let's just do it I'm gonna try 10 hours I remember reading 10 hours will like right at dehydration yeah Okay, I think we can continue to sleep. Yeah. And this should make us fully rested. Yeah, plus we got some light. Sounds crazy out there, I know. Nice. That's the best way to get rid of leather or cloth is just to fail what you're trying to do. is mostly cat stocks. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Still? 
Oh, because we're... No. Not encumbered yet. This is a lot of stuff to carry. Bummer, and I don't... I mean, these are what? A kilo? So there's three. This is gonna be four, five. There's probably another five in here. I don't even think we can carry all this. Without being well fed. trying to make a decision here. Obviously, I'm not going to go outside. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, this is all my birch bark. Rose hip. We'll just throw coffee in there for now. It'd be awesome if we could have a a thermos for every type of drink and then depending on what we we're doing like you just grab that thermos and go i don't think i left anything in the basement so but you know what we can do we can go down here because we don't have any more torches we can come down here and like break some of this stuff down. No. Okay. See that food? That thing's really bumming me out. Yeah, that should be enough. That was so close. So the whole point with this fire right here is just to get our torches back. Come on, fire. We use them all. I'm going to need a handful, so we'll say probably five. We'll add the fuel. Five good ones. But because we have plenty of wood in the basement, I'm going to be really selective with these. This one kind of sucks. We'll keep it for now. Hey. Dude. Ooh, that one was actually pretty good. He's got in the habit of throwing them. Interesting sight. I'm guessing I left these here when we went to Timberwolf Mountain and Ash Canyon. Yeah, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve survival bows right there. I guess I can move these all off the uh, off the books that I want to take.
So it's times like this. I'll take it. Have I read any of these? Zero five. Zero five. Zero ten. Zero of five. Wilderness kitchen is what? Cooking skill. Okay. I'm gonna take this. To avoid getting cabin fever, I'm gonna go out to the car. I don't know if I'm gonna be warm in this car, actually. It's not bad. I could probably get an hour at a time, right? Oh. Probably finish your first book, guy. Okay? okay, pretty cold. Do I have one more hour in me? Yeah. Now it's getting warm. Okay. That's now firewood, right? Research already completed. Oh, can't drop it. I don't know which one it is. Whatever. So right now we're just uh, we're just gonna read some books. Take advantage of being outside here, which is there really an advantage to being outside? No. We're gonna read some of these things. I want this level three cooking. I'm going to keep working towards that. We could drop both of these books. If we've got the time. Or the light, I mean. There's three. There's four. And I think we're going to get it. We just burned eight hours reading. Waiting for this well-fed bonus. Oh, uh, nice. The only bad thing to having reading days is I'm not very tired. I'm going to run over here. I'm going to see if there's any rabbits still out here in the typical rabbit grove. Uh, there's a the fire barrel in the garage here. But there are rabbits. I'm not sure if I should... Walk back with them because I'm gonna attract these wolves if I do. So that I thought that one on the left right there was coming towards me, but he's not. Okay, here we go. I did not think I was going to hit that. Hey, pick it up. Just wanted to really quickly, like, look up at these wolves. We're going to swing wide here. Try to just avoid alerting these wolves in any way whatsoever. 
There are times where I've like been walking like this, no scent whatsoever. And these damn wolves will start trotting towards me. I mean, it's realistic. Wolves have pretty good eyesight. They can see you across things like this. But, you know, you start leaning into the mechanics of the game that you, like, expect them to, you know, wolves need to adhere to this set of code. And when they do their own thing, <laughs> this bums me out. There was some place where one of the tips was go up here because you could find a rabbit skin hat. I don't remember where that was. I thought it was here in Pleasant Valley. So what I want to do is stand right in front of here. Fourteen minutes. Not bad at all. I just want the food out of this. So I think I'm just going to put the carcasses into the refrigerator. And then... If we need hides and guts when we come back, if we come back, uh, they'll be in the fridge. And I can just quickly break those down. But first things first, let's start the fire. Did I lose it? Oh, there it is. Come on, little fire. Perfect. I actually don't think I need everything I just put in there. Yeah, it's going to go by pretty quick. Was that one? Hmm. -mm. Guess we could pull out more torches. Yeah, because we got an hour 41 there. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh, no kidding. Had a ton of coffee in there. Forgot about it. Good thing we checked on it. Yeah. Okay, we're pulling. We're pulling some good torches here. Nice. Okay, we'll take this one. All right, friends, I think we're gonna call this an episode. This has been a, a wonky one, hasn't it? I think we're going to end it right here. 
we are going to pick this up. I believe when I get the well fed bonus. So I'm going to pretty much do the same thing we just did until we're well fed. So we could pick up all that stuff that was on the ground um, in the kitchen there. And we can carry it into Mystery Lake because there's a lot of stuff we need in Mystery Lake as well. So um, it's going to be slow going, I think, if we don't do that. So we're going to get the well fed bonus and then we'll pack up and we'll head out of here. So I will see you guys then. If you're liking this series, please hit that like button. Show a little love on the series. Uh, if you have any tips or tricks or something that maybe you want to check out uh, as we're going through here, uh, throw it down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to see you guys back here uh, with all the episodes. Uh, thank you guys so much, and we will see you on the next episode.